Okay, put a finger down if you and your partner were living in Los Angeles, but you decided to give up everything that you own, said goodbye to all of your friends, went on a three month road trip, and then traveled across the entire country to move to New York City because you thought that would be the only place that you would be happy in after traveling around Europe and realizing you needed a walkable city. But then when you get to New York City, you realize that all of the apartments, even in Brooklyn, are being bidded on and people are going way above the asking price for rental apartments. So you decide not to move to New York City and then you book a plane ticket to Portugal and realize that Portugal has a digital nomad visa and you might just be doing a sabbatical year there and uh, now your whole life is in shambles and you're leaving to Portugal uh, next week. Honestly, I'm so excited and here is a list of all of my favorite travel gadgets I will be bringing with me on my trip. If you're like me and your throat is always getting scratchy from the water you're drinking in hotel rooms or hostels or uh, Roman aqueducts, I recommend you get the Lark. This water bottle is amazing because it has this cap where you press the button and UV light filters the water and kills bacteria. Honestly, I've had so much trouble with slimy water bottles or things that like would just get disgusting fast and this cleans your water and is amazing. I linked it in my Amazon storefront in my profile along with everything else in this video too. So I didn't know this the first time that I started traveling, but the outlets are different in every single country. And I love this outlet converter because it's super compact and all you do is you move the slides based on the country you're visiting and it changes the outlet. It's amazing and I am just a huge fan. You can also plug in your, your phone chargers and other cables to this. Because we're still in a pandemic, I got a cover for my passport and my vaccination card, and these things come together in a set, and they're great if you want to spray down these things with hand sanitizer while you're traveling because these land on a ton of gross surfaces. When I was traveling around Prague and Budapest last year, I had so much currency on hand because a lot of the restaurants we went to were cute hole-in-the-wall places that just didn't take card. So I got this really cute, really thin um, uh, purse for cash and coins and also have some card holders in the back because I had a small square wallet, but um, I honestly needed something better to fit paper currency. So I got this and it's super cute. So if you're a woman or a vegan or somebody with an iron deficiency, I highly recommend getting a Lucky Iron Fish. My doctor recommended this to me because I'm constantly low on iron. And what is so great about this is you drop this into any pan. This is a cast iron fish and it basically excretes the iron that you need in a serving size as a supplement. And it has no side effects, unlike a lot of the iron pills I've taken. And I don't have to carry out a whole bottle of iron, uh, liquid iron supplement. Next on my list are compression socks. These are great for long flights to keep your circulation um, really solid. And for me, as somebody with autoimmune disease, this is great for my toes that uh, just lose circulation mid-flight for no reason. Last but not least, get yourself a good set of packing cubes and clear plastic packing containers for your liquids, even if you're packing a carry-on. See you guys in Portugal and follow for more travel tips.